It's a story about two friends who reconnect after, I don't know, decades. And yet it's really a story with three main characters. And, and Bryson, Bob Redford's character, Cats, played by Nick Nolte, and the Appalachian Trail itself. And the trail is really like the third major character. And, um, and I love the fact that in Bryson's book, uh, as much as it was about you know the, the the rebonding of these two guys, it was equally about this amazing 2,100 mile d phenomenon, the Appalachian Trail. It's really a brilliant book because it's it seems to be a travel memoir, but it's really a a character study disguised as a travel memoir, and uh, you know it ends up ultimately being a story about. Oh, oh gosh, it really ends up being about the nature of friendship and particularly male friendship. But again, on the veneer, it's a travel memoir, which I thought it was just brilliant the way he, he, he wrote that. It's about two guys, you know, again, facing their mortality, uh, questioning the choices they've made in their lives, the roads taken or not taken. And they do this as they're walking this very arduous, you know, hike. And every once in a while, something else intrudes, and that is the environment itself. Like in the middle of arguing or bickering or butting heads about something, suddenly they turn a corner and they see the most magnificent vista that anyone's ever seen. So what happens is in this story is that nature every once in a while steps in and slaps them in the face and says, take a look, stop bickering, see what's outside yourself. Katz is a washout. He's burned out. He's physically not able to walk this trail. Uh, the last time he and Bryson saw each other, they had a huge falling out. Katz owes him money. Katz is a recovering alcoholic. The, Bryson, on the other hand, is successful, brainy. He has it all together. He's got a nice house. He, he seems to have, have it all. And yet there's something missing for Bryson Nick Offerman plays a character that Bill Bryson calls REI Dave, and he is the wonkiest uh, salesperson you'll ever meet. And Nick, who I've worked with on the show Parks and Rec, has the perfect uh, ability to uh, talk at length for, uh, about, for instance, the difference between carbon fiber and aluminum tent poles. And, and he, his, his delivery of this utterly wonky stuff is, is so perfect. Kristen plays the character Mary Ellen, who is the most annoying hiker on the entire 2100 mile Appalachian Trail. And, um, but she's also, what I love about Kristen's character, what I love about Mary Ellen is she's also a very confident, independent character. She, she, uh, she prefers to walk alone because she can't imagine anyone smart enough or talent, you know, to walk with her. She, she's utterly, she's very insufferable, but at the same time, I kind of admire her, you know, her, her spirit. Mary, of course, it, it could not have been more fun to work with. I've been a super fan of Mary Steenburgen since her very first film. I remember seeing it. She was in uh, Jack Nicholson's uh, film Going South. Going South, I think they call it. And uh, she's just wonderful. And, and she and Redford have a wonderful chemistry. Their, their chemistry is so good that you actually think, wow, what's going to happen here? What I love about Lord Huron's music is that it's a wall of sound, but it's a wall of natural sound. It really feels like you're in an environment. And, and it's like in, in the same way you go into the rainforest at night and hear this you know, symphony of critters, Lord Huron's music, it, it's like the natural world is singing to you. Like Bryson in the story, I wanted to go into the woods, both literally and figuratively. I wanted, to, I wanted to unplug. I wanted to put the laptop away. I wanted to put the cell phone away. I wanted to have an experience, an unmediated experience of nature. And uh, to the extent that uh, people might be encouraged to do the same, I think the film is a success. He sort of builds the character up in little incremental steps 
and, and you don't always see it, it's not flashy, but by the end of the picture, by the end of you know, any Robert Redford performance, you're like completely absorbed in what he's doing and, and, and completely absorbed in his character. A few of the iconic places on the trail, McAfee Knob, for instance, are completely inaccessible by road. So to get there, we needed to you know, put our equipment on our shoulders and hike. So the crew hiked quite a long stretch to get those shots of Bryson and Katz on the you know, precipice, just leaning over that you know, rock ledge. Uh, that's the, you know, and, and on top of that, the day we shot that, we were uh, hustling because there was an imminent lightning storm. And there's nothing, <laughs> nowhere you want to be, there's nowhere you want to be less than like on a rock ledge in the middle of nowhere in the middle of a lightning storm.